remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at NGN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. Right Honorable Sharif Oburewari took over the mantle of leadership in Delta State on the 29th of May 2023 with a promise to ensure continuity in governance and the implementation of new projects and programs to better the lives of Deltans. In this report, our correspondent takes a look at how the oil-rich state fared in the second half of 2023 under the watch of Governor Oburewari. Without clear-cut plans and the burning desire to make impacts, no amount of time may be good enough to make any meaningful progress in any society. On the contrary, when vision meets willingness, tangible progress is recorded in the shortest possible time. Right Honorable Sheriff Oberewuri is an example of a man on a mission with clear vision as well as empathy for ordinary citizens in their underdeveloped communities battling to make a living with poor physical and social infrastructure. No wonder he went right into providing developmental projects and social programs in a bid to change the fortunes of the larger population across the oil-rich Delta State, leaving many in awe of his several achievements in just six months of assuming the coveted seat of the number one citizen of the state, with what to come in the months ahead better left to be imagined. Governor Oburewari and his deputy, Samonde Onyeme, took the mantle of leadership on the 29th of May 2023 after a convincing victory in the March 18, 2023 governorship election in Delta State. Oberewari's declarations in his inaugural speech will go on to open a new vista for the state and its eager population, demonstrating his understanding of the challenges militating against the prosperity of the state as the immediate past speaker of the State House of Assembly. Worry the commercial nerve center of the state will be given special attention under this administration. <laughs> Government with commerce efforts at, at giving worry and its environment a total facelift. Riding on the mandate of Deltans and the subsequent affirmations of this mandate by the State Election Petitions Tribunal, as well as the Court of Appeal sitting in Lagos, Governor Oboreori will go on to constitute a vibrant executive council, appoint heads of departments and agencies, as well as other significant appointments and the inauguration of boards and councils, such as the State Advisory and Peace Building Council, that will help in translating his social contract with Deltans, also known as the Moore Agenda, to visible achievements in the big heart state. His Excellency, there's an existing agenda that is known to Deltas, which is the Moore. By the special grace of God, we will all key into it. We are going to assist him in all ramifications to ensure that Delta State achieves long-time development. Guided by his development blueprint and supported by a crop of competent lieutenants, Governor Oboreori took to a course many successive political leaders avoid for fear of glorifying their predecessors by committing to complete all projects his administration inherited from the immediate past government. Some of these projects which have been completed and commissioned include completed Opolo Enwe Uweru Road in Isoko South Local Government Area, administrative building and other facilities at Delta State University of Science and Technology, Ozoro, and Dennis Osadebe University, Anwai, Asaba, as well as 29 network of roads with drains of over 31 km length around Madonna College Road in Asaba and Okpanam area of Oshimili South and Oshimili North local government areas, among others. Government is a continuum and it is in the duty of successive administrations to put the resources of the state to good use by ensuring that projects are completed in a timely and prudent manner. The Oberewari administration also initiated other high-impact projects, among which is the construction of three flyover bridges at the popular NRA Junction, PTI Junction and DSE Roundabout along the Efrum Patani Road with road expansion and improvement works on the section of the DSC MPA Expressway, 
from Efrun roundabout to the DSC roundabout, all around Wari and its environs. The three flyover bridges and road expansion projects expected to be completed in 27 months were awarded for 78 billion naira in fulfillment of Governor Obrewori's pledge to give Wari the commercial capital of the state a facelift. The state government, in conjunction with Julius Bega Nigeria PLC, recently performed a groundbreaking ceremony for the commencement of the project, while other works such as the installation of solar-powered streetlights and rehabilitation of internal road networks are ongoing. This project also eases the traffic congestion in the area and alleviates the hardship faced by commuters. There will be direct employment opportunities for our people. Not forgetting the welfare of the populace, Governor Oboreuri made available palliative measures to cushion the economic hardship caused by fuel subsidy removal by the federal government. These include payment of an additional 10,000 naira for three months to public workers, payment of outstanding promotion areas, and a 25% reduction in acceptance fees payable by new students in all Delta State-owned universities, as well as the distribution of food items and cash support to the poor and vulnerable in the state. A good portion of these milestones were achieved within his 100 days in office, a development that excited the populace and elicited accolades from all quarters including commendation from Elder Statesman and Convener of the Pan Niger Delta Forum, PANDEF Chief Edwin Clark, Delta State Interparty Advisory Council, IPAC, traditional rulers and students, as well as leaders of opposition parties in the state who could no longer shy away from the transformational leadership of Governor Oberewori. The good thing is that most of the projects that are ongoing, they have completed them and they've commissioned them. And we're hoping that more projects will spring up. So, so far, so good. It has done creatively well. Immediately he got to office, he swung into action, inspected ongoing projects, inaugurated new projects. He also went as far as employing, recruiting teachers for the schools that will lack teachers. What he also did was that he paid all areas, the promotion areas of civil servants. At the same time, he, the pension of the primary school teachers, he has already made arrangement for. At the same time, the palliative in the other state, two billion has released from Federal, but the governor has approved 10 billion for the other palliative. It is worthy of note to mention that the governor had an assuming office approved the rehabilitation of 260 primary health care centers in the state and gave a nod for the resumption of free maternal and children under five health care programs in the state while assuring deltans of access to viable health care services in every corner of the state this administration will not only continue the free health care for pregnant women and children under five but will also improve maternal, newborn, and child health services in the states. The governor understands very well the inestimable value of strategic partnership for sustainable peace and holistic development of the state, which is underscored in his willingness to join forces with other arms and agencies of government at federal and state level, as well as international organizations such as World Health Organization among others for efficient and effective service delivery. The recent approval of land for the Federal University of Medical and Health Sciences in Kwale, Ndokwa West local government area of the state, is a testament of this strategic partnership. The obrewari led administration has also moved to bolster socio-economic prosperity in the state with the recent assurance to local and foreign investors of a peaceful and investment-friendly environment for business to thrive as well as the ongoing talks with multinational oil companies like Shell and Chevron on the need to recommence full-scale operations in the state. The governor also put together an all-week state executive council retreat for heads of government ministries, departments and agencies to ensure that every policy and projects of component units of government aligns with the policy thrust of his administration. 
Governor Oborewori, during the event, reiterated his administration's commitment to prudent and judicious use of scarce government resources. It is my earnest expectation that this forum provides a pathway for us to deliver on the promises of the more agenda through physical responsibility, synergy among the MDAs, robust community engagement, effective public communication, creative execution of programs, and excellent service delivery. Another landmark was made when Governor Oborewo represented for the first time in Delta State an annual budget proposal of 714.4 billion naira, which is significantly lower than the currently running 2023 state budget of 809.4 billion naira. The infrastructure-focused budget was passed after two weeks of accelerated consideration that saw the initial estimate increase to 724.9 billion naira by the legislators. A development the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Emomotimi Guo, said was in line with global best practices and the interest of the state. I certainly believe that this deal will greatly impact the lives of Deltas and will move Delta State forward in terms of infrastructure and human capital development. With the recent signing of the 2024 appropriation bill by the Governor, there will be rapid infrastructure renewal and shared prosperity across the length and breadth of the state in the coming months and years. Inside the Niger Delta, 